Okay, so the lighting's terrible. It I don't know how this setup's gonna go, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I have a I mean it's not a blindfold. Thanks to my mum for this, by the way. I'm gonna throw everything in here. And we're gonna see how this goes. So first of all I've got I could easily go for a nap right now. This is gonna be the blindfold, okay? Great. I don't know how I'm gonna film this, because I'm not gonna be able to see the viewfinder. Okay, so I'm trying not to look in the drawer because I don't wanna like know where anything is. So first of all, we need to pick out a primer. So, first draw. We need a face primer. These are all my face primers. Isn't that ridiculous? Try not to look at it because I don't want to like see where anything is. So we're gonna have a little root around. Oh, can you see this? Um, maybe if I like get something that's like deep under here. I actually don't know what half of this crap is. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Oh my God, it's stuck. Okay, let's go in there. Why do I not know what this is? I don't have a primer stick. I feel like I put a foundation stick in this drawer by accident. Okay, next we're gonna find a foundation. This is uh, the issue. How bad is that, honestly? Let's figure out what I want. I feel like if I have like something that's like too dark or too light, I'm gonna have to like, um, get something to like mix it with. Okay, see, I know that's the Luminous Silk because Armani have like the thing on, so I know what that is, so that's kind of cheating. Let's have a look on this side. This is actually really bad, I thought I would. Okay, let's go with this. I feel like this feels kind of familiar, but I don't know. I don't know. Is that Makeup Revolution? I don't know. It feels like that because they have like a sticker on the front. If it is, I need like the other color. Wait, where is it? Next, concealer. So I keep my concealers in like the other side. Here they all are. So let's, uh, hopefully I don't pick out something that's like expired. I'm kind of like going to the bottom just so I know it's not something that like I love. This is huge. Oh, that's Too Faced, I know that. Uh, maybe something at the bottom, maybe. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I don't know what that is. This is a good guessing game actually, like just kind of guessing my makeup. I feel like I do a pretty good job, you know, at like guessing packaging. Next up we need a loose powder. That'll do, right? You can kind of see inside the drawer. Oh, I also have setting sprays in this drawer. Hold on, I'm trying not to look, but I um, have setting sprays like here. Let's pick something. Loose powder. Okay, wait, I know this is the Jeffree Star powder because of the we don't use him anymore. I need to figure out what to do with that. Okay, let's go over here, maybe. Oh, wait, they're like not loose powders, are they? What's that? Okay, we're gonna take this. That's huge. Okay, setting sprays are over here. Let's go underneath, see what we've got in here. Okay, I've picked up two. Okay, we're gonna go with this one because I have no clue what this is. I'm pretty sure that's the Glam Glow one. I can smell it as well. <laughs> I'm a great makeup investigator, okay. Okay, like bronzer. This is the bronzer drawer. Okay, bronzer time. Wait, actually I should do maybe like a cream as well because I've got, where is it? This is so difficult. Okay, so I've got, this is my cream container as you can see. Maybe, I don't know. Have a feel around. Again, I don't know if you can see me. Okay, I've got two here, crap, okay. Let's, I'm gonna take this and then I'll take something from the creams. Okay, okay. In the bag they go. Now we need blush. Blush is here somewhere. No, it's highlight. Okay, let's just do highlight. Highlight's next, I guess. What we're uh, gonna go with. I'm using two hands, I should probably only use one. Kind of feels nice. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. Then we have my favorite drawer, blush. That, that kind of works. Okay. This is the blush drawer. So I've got <laughs> all the powders in there. I have blush sticks in here. And then I've got some palettes at the back, but we'll just, we'll skip the palettes today. So let's, uh, we'll stick with a powder today, I think. So. See, this is what's also kind of stressed me out. I don't know if anything's gonna match. Uh, 
What are all of these? I don't know why I'm trying to like guess everything. Um, what is this? That is not a blur. Um, okay. Oh, this is big. Okay. We're gonna use this. Uh, okay, I just realized I haven't got like mascara or anything. So uh, we're gonna go back up here. This is what we've got. They're kind of organized in colors, browns, blacks, all that kind of shit. So just, you know what? I'm just gonna take the top one. <laughs> so that's some mascara and then an eyeliner. I'm just gonna take like two random ones and just hope for the best. So let's, I don't know what that's gonna do. Oh, I know. This is like my pigment kind of drawer. Let's just take like a liquid or something, I don't know. We'll take this, whatever this is. Can you see that? Okay, I don't, okay, we we'll we got this. I think we just need lips and eyeshadows. Okay, I guess you can kind of see. I'm trying, I'm gonna put this on straight away. Okay, eyeshadow time. So, I don't know whether to take out like two. Oh, I'm gonna mess this up so badly. Um, I don't know whether to take out like two, just, no, actually, we're gonna use one. Okay, what have we got? Maybe if I go a bit deeper. Maybe if I go like a bit deeper, I'll find something that I don't usually use. Okay. Oh, I can't even get this out, but I wanna use whatever this is. Okay, I feel like that's kind of deep enough underneath, so we're gonna take that. I have them kind of split in like two different drawers. I've got like my lip glosses here, more lip glosses, and then these are like my nude stuff and then and then across in this one over here these are my brown lipsticks i've got pink and then red of course we're not gonna venture that far we're gonna stick with the nude draw i think if i just pick a lip gloss though what if it's not like a lipstick like this could be a gloss or a lipstick i don't know just maybe pick like two things and then because I'm not going to do lip liner, that's just too risky. Maybe this, okay. We're going to just take two because I don't know. I'm still trying not to look at anything even though it's really difficult to put them in the bag. I'm ready. Now that Halloween is finally over, I thought it's now appropriate to use this. Festive coffee. Okay, grab your Christmas beverage and um, we're going to get started, I guess. I haven't actually looked at everything I just picked out. So I threw everything in here. Okay, I mean, I picked out an eyeshadow palette I haven't used in um, several years. I guess starting off with face primer, I think that's what we're gonna do. Can we take a primer out? Really? This is the primer I picked? Okay, anyway. This is the uh, Ella Mist Superfood Priming Hydrating Mist. I thought this was like a foundation stick, honestly. I don't think I've really used this that much. I was right in what I picked out actually for the foundation. <laughs> I could tell from like how it felt. This is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation in F10. I, I'm just gonna grab out the other one because I mixed two shades together. So uh, I really like this foundation. I don't use it enough just because I'm too lazy to mix the, the two shades together. Hi, by the way, I feel like it's just been like a really long time since I've like uploaded a video or just even filmed a bit. Oh, I didn't clean my foundation off from last time. It's all stuck. I think it's been a while, so hi. Hope everyone's doing good. Don't really know what to talk about. Are we ready for Black Friday? Is that anything that people care about? I'm kind of ready. I've got like a list of things. I say a list, there's two things that I need. One's gonna be epic, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I've got it. It's gonna be a very happy moment for me, so. We'll uh, have to wait and see. Luckily, I randomly got this idea just like yesterday, actually. It was, I was watching Kathleen Lights' video, a makeup stash video, which if you have no idea what that is, it's basically, well, apparently it's like a thing. I didn't know that these videos existed. You basically just um, go through your makeup collection and then just find stuff that you just haven't used in a really long time or that you've just kind of forgotten about, which you know what? I probably could have done that video because my drawers go deep with makeup, <laughs> like I haven't, um, I haven't really decluttered them in a while. So she did that video and I thought, that's a good idea, but I didn't want to just like copy it or just like do like the exact same video. So then I randomly thought, okay, let's just blindfold myself and see how that goes. So that's foundation done. I uh, really like these foundations, by the way, if you've never tried them, definitely do. Concealer. Oh, I picked out concealer I don't really like that much. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. 
I don't like this because for me it creases so badly and it pisses me off because it's literally called the creaseless concealer but it's not but also like i know i don't usually put much effort into my hair it looks like shit today and i haven't washed it on purpose because i'm actually gonna go to the hairdressers tonight and i think i'm gonna get it cut because it's getting a bit long. I mean, this isn't that long for what I've had in the past, but it's getting a bit too long for what I can be asked with these days. And I think I'm gonna get it coloured again. I don't know, I kinda wanna go a bit lighter, I don't know. But anyway, it's obviously my last time going until it reopens. So, great. Okay, see, so here what's, here's what's kinda bothering me about this concealer. Uh, it looks really nice on my skin. It's actually looking really nice, but it just creases so much like that actually looks so nice it's like smooth my under eyes really nicely i need to see what blush i've got oh okay please be nude fuck this is not gonna go with whatever eye look i'm gonna have to do a pink eye look then or something to go with this this is the fenty loose powder and i'm pretty sure the shade that i use is butter i can never close is this just me but like i can never close this powder like it's kind of like a Rubik's Cube. I mean, it's not, that's a lot more complicated, but like, okay, nobody cares. I just need to sit here and let this bake so I don't really know how to entertain you. Good news is um, I'm an idiot. I mean, that's not good news. That's just common knowledge. I thought that I was like obsessed with, well, I still am. I'm like obsessed with Modern Family, right? And I was, like getting really upset because I'm on like season seven and I thought that was the last season because that's all that's on Netflix. And then I came to like the end of season seven and I was like, wait, they're not like ending anything. I'm really confused. And then they put on season eight. So like, how many seasons are there? Let's do the eyeshadow. Really? Okay, so I picked out this as well, which is a Colourpop Supernova shadow in Constellation. This is actually one of my favourites, but I don't go to, well, anywhere. So like, I don't use glittery eyeshadows anywhere. Okay, let's move on to this then, I guess. Will I do something like really pink? I use like these. I feel like that's very not me. I'm just gonna put some Modern Family on. Actually, no, I'm gonna listen to some music, I think. I'm gonna listen to some music. I'm gonna have a great time and you're just gonna see me do the eyeshadow. I literally just completely winged that makeup look. I thought I'd just put some pink in the inner corner, like the bright pink, just so it will go with the blush eventually. Okay, so this is from Colourpop. It's in the shade Constellation. Honestly, do they, do Colourpop actually still make these? See, that half of their stock genuinely disappears. Like, I don't even know. Do you like here? Um, I'm kind of liking the eye look ish. I don't know. Am I gonna wipe it off before I go to the hairdressers? Of course I am. Morphe Coconut. So I picked out a white eyeliner. Good job. Did I pick out two or did I please tell me I picked out something black? Oh, I didn't. I just picked out a Colourpop brown liquid liner, which you know what? I think I could probably do without. I guess we're gonna use a white eyeliner on my waterline then, I suppose. Let me curl my eyelashes and then I picked out the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara, which is so good. Okay, so let's move back onto the face. I did pick out two bronzers cause like, like you saw, I have like my creams and then powders, so I think I might actually use both. So for cream, I picked up the Milk Makeup 
baked bronzer, which I actually really love this. I'm just gonna dust this, I don't really need it to be honest. I'm just gonna dust a little bit over just to kind of set the cream down, I guess. Just a little bit. I didn't tell you what it is. It's Coconut Beach from Colourpop. Now let's put on the blush, which I actually love this blush from the brand Jordana Tisha. And it's in the shade Lots of Love. And it just kind of looks like Luminoso from Milani. It's probably the best way to explain it. See that glow that it gives? It's so nice. So, setting spray. <gasps> oh, I picked out my favorite highlight. It's Fuego from Dose of Colors. Again, don't know if this, do they still do this? It's like Desi and Katie's like first collab that they ever did. This and what was the other one? I think it was called Mirame or something. That was, oh, that was beautiful. Oh, Fuego was the best though. Before we do that, I picked out like, I don't know why I still have this because I actually hate it. It's the Illuminating Setting Spray from Cover FX. I should have known from that sound. I don't like this. I think the mist is just crap. I'm like, I feel like, no, I feel like it's too fine that it just, like nothing goes on my face. Appreciate a fine mist and you know, not something that just spits, but like this, I feel like I can't feel anything going on my face. Could have just been me, so we'll try it again. Maybe it's just cause like it's a mini, so like it's not as good, but I feel like, I don't think you'd be able to hear it, but like, oh, pfft, not right in my mouth. Let's just wash it down. Well, it just made my coffee taste like poison as well. But like it, it when you like spray it, it sounds like it kind of gets stuck. So I think maybe I've just got like a crap one. It does give you um, a more of a glow though. So I guess that's good. I don't know. I'm trying not to be really negative cause I feel like I can, <laughs> I can be sometimes. So highlight, the babes return. So lips, can I cheat and pick out a lip liner that I want? Cause I was not gonna do this blindfolded because then I could have picked like red and knowing me I would have. So let's just do without, we'll do without, we'll do without. Oh, actually, this could work. Okay, I did pick out two nudes. So then again, I feel like this is pretty light. So I picked out the Nude Sticks um, Matte Lip Pencil in Pixie, which I love, but it's very, very light. And then I picked out the Brown Sugar Gloss from Colourpop. This is too pink. I usually use this like over top, like a bit of a darker lip liner, so. Yeah, there's literally no point. That's like way too light. Let's just go in with the gloss. Who needs lip liners or lipsticks when you can just throw on a gloss? Again, I don't think I've used it. I don't know why I thought it was gonna smell like sugar. Oh, it's not in brown sugar. It's in the shade Dumpling. I don't know why it says brown sugar on it. It's maybe a bit too pinky. It's a bit too peachy, but it is a really nice color actually. Okay, so what was the actual point of this video? to kind of rediscover makeup I haven't tried in a while, like the eyeshadow palette, for example. Hopefully they still sell this. I don't think it was limited edition, to be honest. I don't think it was. Really good. Urban Decay Born to Run. Great palette, I've always liked it. Do I use it all the time? No. Do I forget about it? Yes. Am I gonna forget about it after this video? Probably. I also had a lot of fun doing this video, especially the blindfolded part, that was kind of fun. It kind of stressed me out but it was fun. It kind of stressed me out more than I was enjoying it to be fair actually. So that was stressful, but maybe it was fun for you to watch me be stressed. Yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have any videos you want me to do, let me know and I'll have a, I'll have a read. Um, but other than that, I hope you've enjoyed the Christmas mason jar because I enjoyed it. I, I actually like the red straw as well. I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you in my next video.